All right, time to get our greater than 125 amp charging on. I always worry if I pull up far enough. Woohoo! Still free. Connecting. And let's go. Sweet. Testing the voltage. Nice, nice. 3.7 amps. Oh, 30 amps. Yeah, that definitely goes up a bit. All right, straight up to 132 and 149. All right, let's start tracking this on Torque Pro. I would have liked to have started with a lower battery, but I was testing out another charger earlier. Still, this was a good charge session that I got to test out. One thing that I was happy to confirm is I wasn't imagining things. The step down sometimes doesn't occur until about 54 55%. Also, this still leaves a gap in our knowledge right now because this is limited at 150 amps and it doesn't really give us the opportunity to test whether the Bolt EV takes additional power when it's available from the station. All right. Well, I'm going to end my session now because uh, we actually have someone else wanting to use the charger. So, experiment over. All right, so that was a pretty cool session. There was some interesting information that I wasn't expecting to see. Uh, the charge rate stepped down way later than what I was expecting. Um, anyway, someone showed up in a Bolt EV. I think they're a Lyft driver. I'm not going to be just sitting there charging up to 80% anyway. Yeah, this charge point headquarters, 150 amp charger. Uh, had I come at a you know, lower battery, it would have charged up a lot more energy a lot more rapidly. But some of the step downs is what I was interested in just as much. Anyway, uh, we're going to head back and, you know, it's 9.41 p.m. right now. So, ooh, it's going to be maybe 4 in the morning by the time we get home. Yee. Maybe I'll stop to sleep if I don't feel up to it. But, uh, well, we're burning night day time something. 